All right, let's start with Millet. Talk about Argentina. Um, Millet suffered a, a serious blow. Uh, uh, this uh, was it yesterday uh, f for his agenda. You remember he signed like three hundred uh, pieces of uh, deregulation uh, by executive order. And this is after decades of uh, Argentinian presidents doing stuff through executive order and, and Congress basically letting them get away with it. Anyway, in this case, uh, the Senate, the Argentinian Senate, has voted against those, that is, they voted to overturn the executive order that Millet signed. This is an executive order that, that dramatically deregulated the Argentinian economy and was already being put in place. Now, that doesn't go into law until the lower house votes for the same thing, but Millet has, uh, does not have a majority in the lower house. I mean, we talked about this originally when he was elected. Uh, Millet has a very small political party, and therefore, if from a legislative perspective, there's very, uh, sadly, there's little he can do uh, unless he rallies support from political parties that are clearly opposed to him and his agenda. So not only is the package of privatization and uh, changes in uh, spending, the omnibus bill that uh, Millet proposed, not only is that basically being killed by the legislature, but now the legislature is attempting to kill the deregulations that um, Millet passed uh, in the first few days of his administration. Uh, Mila is going to fight this. He's going to fight this in the lower in the lower house. In the uh, uh, but again, he he does not have the political backing. He does not have the political support. Uh, and unless the Argentinian people start turning out in his support and start putting pressure on politicians, his agenda is going to get is going to get completely scrapped. Um, talk about the omnibus bill. Uh, Mila is. Uh, is now proposing a trimmed down version of that bill, for example, that does not include the privatization of the Argentinian oil company, which is sad. Um, and, uh, it, it, you know, so it's a, a bunch of other things that needed to happen, need to happen in Argentina, he is backing off of in order to get the support of Congress. We will see if they uh, will support even this trimmed down version. If they smell blood, if they think they can uh, they can uh, derail him and uh, defeat him uh, then um, they might just say no to everything he proposes and uh, make him look as bad as possible so uh, tragic sad uh but completely expected completely predictable it's exactly what I, I told you I thought would happen uh, when uh, Millet was first elected. And what I think a lot of commentators, can he get anything done? Can he get stuff done? You know, and, and, and of course, these two things, the executive order and the omnibus bill, were only the beginning of everything he would need to do, which includes dollarization and everything else. And if this can't get done, then certainly the more radical stuff is, is going to really be difficult. Now, as I said, I will be in Argentina and uh, we'll have a broader, better, more thorough perspective on Millet and what's going on in Argentina uh, from that trip. Uh, we, I will know, you know, we, we will hear a lot about the program, what the plan is, what uh, they, the Argentinians, think the probability of success is, including people at the very top. All right. So yeah, major setback, not good. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know what he can do other than basically fire Congress and declare himself, you know, a, a dictator of Argentina. But it, you know, probably not something he can, should, or, or will do. I mean, then you get the army. It, it, it yeah. There's no, there's no clear cut way to get these uh, uh, passed without the Argentinian people being willing, in a sense, to go out now into the streets and demand of their Congress to, uh, uh, to support Millet and make it very clear that if they don't, 
they're going to vote, vote all the bastards out. So they're going to vote all the bastards out. The problem, of course, is the people who elected Millet were excited, but are they excited at any particular thing? Are they excited at any particular spending cut might affect them, for example? Are they excited about any particular deregulation might affect them? Are they excited at any particular privatization? Again, might affect them. So much of the Argentine economy is controlled by the government today. Anything he does is going to affect people. And will those people take the long view, take the broad view, take the rational view, or will they just try to pursue kind of uh, short-term emotional, uh, you know, uh, their short-term emotions? I don't know. Again, I'm curious. I'm curious uh, mm -hmm. to speak to Argentinians to see if we can find out, um, to find out what they think.